Many of us spend a good part of our day looking at screens. We check our text messages as soon as we get up in the morning. Maybe we watch a little morning TV while we eat our breakfast. We play video games whenever we have to wait for a few minutes. We work on computer screens during the day and use our screens to catch up with friends and family on social media after we leave work. And we read on electronic screens right before bedtime and watch TV until we doze off. But though our screens provide us with hours of entertainment, productivity, and connection with friends and family, they have at least one negative effect. They can keep us from getting a good night's sleep. Good sleep is vital to living a healthy life. It makes it easier for us to learn, to be productive, and to get along with other people. We also know that the health consequences of losing a lot of sleep can be severe. Problems with weight control, diabetes, higher blood pressure, and even heart attacks and strokes can result when we don't get the sleep our bodies need. Screens can affect our sleep in several ways. Scientific studies show that whenever we're watching screens, our bodies experience some stress. Even if we're not playing violent video games, screens can overstimulate our eyes and minds and keep us wide awake. It causes the fight or flight response that puts our bodies on high alert and keeps us from falling sound asleep at night. This stress can cause our heart to beat faster and our blood pressure to be higher, even hours after playing a video game, surfing the internet, or texting. This level of stress can really affect our sleep. We may have a sleepless night or toss and turn instead of falling fast asleep and wake up tired instead of feeling rested. Screens can also affect sleep by reducing our levels of melatonin, the chemical signal that tells our brain it's time to sleep. Darkness causes our bodies to release melatonin and help us feel drowsy. It's not hard to see how screens might keep us from drifting off or from sleeping well, considering that many of us look at screens right before bedtime. And that can affect our mood and concentration the next day. So how can we keep our screens from affecting our sleep? Here are a few suggestions. You can prepare for a good night's sleep by turning off all your screens 30 to 60 minutes before bedtime. It might not be a bad idea to wait to check your email or text until morning, as they can really prevent you from winding down. And if you're a night owl who likes to read right before bedtime, you might want to avoid using a backlit screen. Also, keep a regular sleep schedule. Most people can get a good night's sleep only if they fall asleep and wake up at the same times each day. Our screens don't need to keep us from getting enough sleep as long as we use them in a healthy way.